hi welcome back to my channel it's Krista from Hebert's Down Home if you are new here welcome I would love to have you click that subscribe button down below it's Thursday and normally we'd be doing a grocery haul today but we shopped for the entire month of April so today we're just talking groceries So this morning I am making homemade granola. So um, I just thought that I'd chat with you while I'm working and kill two birds with one stone. The granola recipe that I use is from Sarah over at our tribe of 10. My kids love, love, love the granola that she makes for her kids. So um, we started doing that a few weeks ago and love it. We've actually replaced a lot of our cereal with this granola. Um, I do think that it's a little bit of a cheaper option. It's for sure a healthier option, which is a win-win for me. So um, anyway, I make granola once a week, about once a week is what I'm making granola, and it uses one whole container of um, oatmeal. So anyway, that's where we're at on the granola situation. So. I wanted just to chat with you guys a little bit about the grocery hauls. Um, grocery hauls were not necessarily something that I ever intended to do on my channel. I did one just for fun and it got a ton of views and actually I gained quite a few subscribers because of that grocery haul video. And so I thought, well, I don't love grocery haul videos and I don't like grocery shopping but I'm gonna see what I can do and kind of keep going with this. So I have continued to do the grocery hauls and um, I've kind of challenged myself a little bit through these grocery haul videos. You guys have inspired me, I think, to try to save quite a bit of money. Um, and so that's my game. If I can make something into a game or a competition, then it's always a lot more fun, right? So um, I've made it into a game and I actually have reduced my grocery budget from $1,200 a month for our family of eight down to $700 a month for our family of eight. And um, actually next week you'll see our mid-month haul. We're getting ready to do that in the next few days and then I'll have it up for next Thursday so you guys can see that video. Um, and we are so far at about $600 so that leaves me $100 for our mid-month haul and I'm not sure if I'm going to make it but I'm going to try, doggone it. Okay, so I'm just curious to hear from you grocery haul subscribers. If that's what you're here for, number one, I wanna hear from you in the comments below. What is your favorite thing about grocery hauls? What do you like about grocery hauls? Um, what do you wanna hear in the grocery hauls? What questions do you have? What, um, why do you watch them? Any information that you can give me about why you're interested in grocery hauls, I would love to hear it. So like I said, we are about hitting mid-month and so we are gonna be doing our mid-month haul here pretty soon. I'm gonna dump this onto my pans now because I'm gonna stick this in the oven. Um, and so um, anyway, I am just kind of trying to, I'm, I'm getting a little panicky here mid-month, which this is what I do with the monthly grocery hauls and this is sometimes why I don't do them. I get a little panicky about not making it through the month and then I end up overstocking for that second half and that's what I want to avoid because that's where I lose a lot of money <laughs> um, is I end up way overstocking and, and getting crazy about it. So anyway, um, we're kind of to the point where I need to reevaluate a little bit of what the meals are that I have left and how we're, what, what meats I have left, what sides I have left, and how we're gonna get through the rest of the month on what we've got here. I have done a good job of like rationing out snacks and things like that, but I'm thinking about that I may need to also, I pre-cook a lot of my meat and maybe just set aside, like I don't do a lot of freezer cooking, but go ahead and set aside certain, like if I brown up a bunch of hamburger, going ahead and bagging it up the amount that I need for each recipe and labeling it. That way I'm sure to have exactly what I need all the way through the month. And then I know what extra meat I have for, you know, sometimes the kids want to use, use extra for maybe pizza for lunch or something like that. And I'm not quite sure what I have and I don't want to have to buy more mid month. So I don't know, just some thoughts about that. Okay, I have my granola here ready to head into the oven. I'm just gonna put my first one in. And I think it goes in 
think it goes in for about, it says 17 to 18 minutes. So, Like I said, my granola recipe, I used the one from Sarah over at Our Tribe of 10, and she just made a new video just the other day, updated her old video um, about the granola. And so she has a brand new video up. But anyway, I would love to hear from you grocery haul people. I am just really intrigued by the whole grocery haul following. Um, and I appreciate you. I appreciate all the subscribers that I have. So, but I would love to hear some feedback from you. What would you like to see more of? And I can hopefully, um, accommodate my grocery haul people so anyway like I said I never intended to do grocery hauls on my channel because I despise grocery shopping so much but I have turned it into more of a game and it's become more fun for me so I'm gonna go kind of get my my list gathered up and round it up and kind of redo my revamp my meal plan a little bit make sure I have what I need to have for the second half of April now and um, and then I will be showing you that grocery haul video next Thursday for the mid-month haul, which should be a lighter haul. I'm planning to um, kind of stock up on, I need milk and um, probably some bread, fresh produce for sure. And I'm just going to check kind of my meat situation, see where I'm at on that, make sure I have enough sides. I know like I didn't get quite enough applesauce at all these last time. So some things like that, just make sure I have it. But I would really, really, really like to come in under $100 for my mid-month haul. So we will see if that's even a possibility. I'm not for sure. So anyway, thank you, thank you for joining me and listening to my ramblings today. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.